Okay, so today what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to um, or the implementations uh, between Rockwell RS Logics Architect and ePlan Electric P8 2.0. All right. So basically, here what you have is a the Rockwell interface, and uh, what I'm going to do, uh, just start with a new layout, very basic. I'm going to go over here, grab a chassis. I'll grab this guy right here. It's a basic drag and drop, very simple. Give it a tag. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a controller. I'm going to grab this guy right here. Looks pretty good. Just going to drag and drop him in. He's going to get tagged as well. Um, and obviously, what I'm going to do is also add in some digital uh, modules. So I'm going to grab this one, 7656. Grab that one in, drop him in, and you can go ahead and drop more components in. You guys get the idea. As you go about building this in, what you can do is once you commit the layout, it'll bring it into RS Logic 5000 where you can assign uh, the symbolic addresses, uh, the different tags, and so on and so forth. And then you can bring it back into RS Logic's architect. And once that's done, you can also export this. I'm just going to do it really quick. I'm going to export this layout to ePlan. Very simple. Click on that, give it a name. Alright. It's going to create an XML file on my desktop. Just hit save. Now the information has been added. I'm just going to minimize this. Here's my little uh, XML file. If we go back to ePlan, and in ePlan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and in my navigator, my PLC navigator, I'm going to right click here, or actually I'm going to go to Project Data, PLC, and I'm going to import that data. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to be using the format for RS Logic. I'm going to fetch my file, this one right here, and uh, I'm just going to start it up. Hit OK. And here you have this interface, which is going to show you the elements that are it's going to be bringing in. Just bring it in by importing it. Hit new. That's good. Close this dialog up. And here, what you have now is all your PLC cards. So you have the PLC one is going to be your chassis. The PLC two is your controller, and PLC three is your uh, digital I/O. And what I can do from here actually was kind of neat is I can go to Project Data, PLC, and I can actually generate the schematic. Click on that. What I have here is the PLC box and the different pins that are assigned to this component. And what I can do, this is the macro file for the NFPA, uh, sorry, for the IEC. So what I'm just going to do is take the one here for the NFPA, 7656 NFPA, the one I just created, bring that in. And for every single uh, pin, I can also assign a macro uh, that also contains probably uh, its function. So here, PLC card, PLC IOs limit switch, that looks pretty good. Um, what I can do is I can copy and paste this as well, which kind of allows me to go a lot quicker. Just copy and paste. And or you can do on each individual pin, one schematic and contact. This guy will bring in a e-stop. This guy will bring in a push button and so on and so forth. So you get, get the idea. Once that's done, here you can generate or you can specify the page you want to generate this on. Right now, there is no uh, pages. Uh, I got pages one through three. I have no PLC pages, so I'm going to generate this on page ten. So very simply, all I have to do now is hit OK. Right, I want to save the data, bring that in, and I got this new page, page ten, that's just been created. And I go here, and there you have my cards that came in. So this is the eight pins for my sixteen pin card. So it's sixteen pins in all, and here I have all the information that I brought in that I selected. Um, all the information came through. Um, I didn't have to draw absolutely nothing. Uh, this was imported from RS Logics and then just automatically generated using ePlan tools. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. All right.